Alright, so what the fuck's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Dev Pussy 445. Um, I'm coming at y'all niggas with an early ass mock draft, you feel me? Um, now, the way I see it, it's really three ways this whole motherfucking thing can really go down. You feel me? Either move that a little bit. Either we snatch up an offensive lineman, Luke Joeco, Joko, whatever the fuck his name is, from Texas AM, or if the Kansas City Chiefs get him, you know, because Andy Reid is out there with Kansas City, um, nine times out of ten, he'll probably get uh, Geno Smith. You know, Andy Reid always did like the um, um, the mobile quarterback, you feel me, because we all know he's a pass-happy motherfucker, and he better get ready to have a mobile nigga, because if he gets a pocket passer, he'll be back there like a sitting fucking duck. So, if the niggas get... Luke Jokel, we should probably snatch up Demarcus Minner, Minner, D. Minner, whatever the fuck his name is, you know, defensive back from Alabama, 6'1", tremendous season, damn good, all-around tight Negro, whatever the fuck you need to be defensive back, that nigga got it, you feel me? I keep fucking up the camera, my fault, man. Or, there's another route we can go. Since we're switching, since it's more likely we're switching to a 3-4 defense, you feel me? We might want to take a look at getting another fucking linebacker. Because D'Amico Ryans really really doesn't necessarily fit the 3-4 scheme, you feel me? But I mean, if they want to take a look at him, you feel me? If they want to take a look at another linebacker, I say you definitely snatch up Jarvis Jones, you feel me? Um, there was a lot of people saying that, you know, uh, what about Manti Teo? Me, personally, mm -mm, pimping, after that whole damn Hulk story, oh, did it, you know, did it affect his, um, you know, his stock up in the draft? Did his stock fall? Fuck yeah, it fell, nigga. The way I see it, that motherfucking shit fell dramatically, pimping. You know, a lot of people, you know, hey, is it questioning his character? It's questioning a whole bunch of shit, you feel me? So, the way I see it, playboy... We can't be fucking around. Let me see. What the fuck am I looking for? Um, 2013 college prospects. You feel me? I'm looking up some shit right now. You feel me? Um, of course, Manti Teo. Y'all already know the whole fucking Hulk story. Uh, came from um, from Notre Dame and all that shit. Uh, let's see. Where this motherfucker at? I'm fucking up. Slow ass computer, man. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, so right now, man, they got either Jarvis Jones, 6'2", 242. So, you know, projected to be taking up in, in the fifth round. Um, up in the, I'm sorry. Um, top five pick, my fault. Or you get... De Demontre Moore, defensive end or linebacker from Texas A&M, 6'4", 250 motherfucking pounds. Big ass motherfucker. Or you get Bajern Warner, defensive end. Okay, well, fuck him. Y'all basically get the idea. Um, I'm spending too much goddamn time. I guess I need the first fucking pick. Goddamn. Second round, snatch up offensive lineman. You got I mean, nigga, I was willing to be lenient. You feel me? Um... In the first round, the second round, snatch up our offensive lineman. You feel me? I was either, you know, looking at either them niggas can snatch up Eric Fisher from Central Michigan, 6'8", 305 pounds. Um, has versatility after starting at right tackle, guard, and left tackle. This nigga's another Todd Hammond. This motherfucker is all over the place. He can start any goddamn way. You feel me? Just not center. <laughs> but anyways, um... Only thing with him is that he's being projected to be taking, um, he's a, um, I'm a top 25 pick. So I'm pretty much sure doubt the nigga's going to drop to the second round. But if he does, that's a fucking steal. Snatch him up. Snatch him up real quick, man. Very quick up on his feet. He uses that quickness to get, he uses that quickness to get deep up in his pass drop and cut off would be, would be pass, would be speed rushers. Excuse me. So, See, see what's popping. We ain't gonna get the motherfucker. Let's be real, okay? Slim, slim and none chance that we do get him. So, backup plan. Scoop up Lane Johnson, nigga from Oklahoma, man. Six, seven, three hundred, three pounds, man. 
um, two-year starter who has been a good edge blocker for Landry Jones. Um, damn good game versus Texas. You know, the Texas Longhorns. Um, he received a lot of people doubted him about if he can handle the right tackle position, you know, but has done extremely well. You feel me? The way I see it, you put this motherfucker at right tackle, bring, um, bring Todd Harriman's, move him back into the guard position where he used to play, see what this nigga can do, and you might have something. You feel me? Um... So that's the second pick. Third pick, that's not bullshit. Get us a safety. Get us a motherfucking safety. I don't know why this shit keeps switching like that. My fault. Get us a safety, man. Let's stop bullshitting. I'm tired of fucking around with Kurt Coleman and Nate Allen, two bitch-ass niggas, okay? Nate Allen and Kurt Coleman, those two inconsistent motherfuckers. I don't understand what the fuck is wrong with Nate Allen, dude. Like, on some real shit, my dude... This cat was what second uh, second round pick, and he I mean he was good a bit his rookie year, but you know he also had a I think it was a um, I think it was a um, a micro fracture um, surgery or some shit like that. It, 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 it had something to do with his leg or a knee or somewhere around there. You feel me? So we draft Duke Williams, uh, safety from from Nevada. You know I wrote, wrote some shit down on him. Has 100 tackles, 5.5 tackles for a loss, 8 passes broken up, and 3 forced fumbles. Well, what the fuck is popping? You can just snatch him up. Or you can snatch up uh, Philip Thomas from Fresno State, 6'1", 215 pounds, leads the nation with 8 picks. Um, had 2 picks for a touch. He returned 2 picks for touchdowns versus Colorado. Philip Thomas had 82 tackles, 12 for a loss, four passes broken up, and four forced fumbles. Also has big playmaking ability. But that sounds like another Ed Reed motherfucker. You snatch his ass up real quick. You feel me? Either him or Duke Williams. Number four. Fourth round. Snatch up a fucking wide receiver. I'm getting tired of these little soft, scared-ass motherfuckers. You know, well, I ain't going to say scared. That's fucked up to say. I'm sorry. I take that back. Um, we got Deshaun Jackson and Jeremy Macklin, man. You know, I know Riley Cooper been doing this thing, but I want these niggas to seriously take... I want these cats to... I want the Eagles to seriously take a look at Marcus Davis, wide receiver from Virginia Tech, 6'4", 232 pounds. You know, physical motherfucker, you feel me? We need a possession receiver, kind of like another fucking, I want to say T.O., but it's really hard to replicate a fucking T.O. So I'd say another version of like Hines Ward or somebody like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, big wide out, big nigga who has the speed and explosiveness. Get his ass. I mean, shit, ain't that what, isn't that what Chip Kelly's offense is mainly, you know, built around is speed and explosiveness? Snatch him. Don't bullshit. Get at him. Take him. Let's see what he can do. 6'4", 232 motherfucking pounds. Let's see what he can do, man. Uh, let's see. Number one receiver, you know, as the Hokies. I think that's their name. Uh, let's see. 51 receptions, 953 yards, and five touchdowns. Okay? Let's see what he can do. Also, Kwame Gathers, man. Now... More than likely, Eagles are going to be switching to a 3-4 defense. I'm down for that shit. And within a 3-4 defense, you're going to need a big-ass motherfucker. Let's be real. You're going to need a big-ass nigga. Nose tackle. Nose guard. Big nigga. I mean, I mean a big cock diesel motherfucker. I'm spitting this shit. Big cock diesel motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a big, huge-ass nigga. Kwame Gathers, man. 6'6", 300 and 350 motherfucking pounds. Big-ass nigga. I mean, a big, huge motherfucking man that won't hesitate to eat a big-ass... 
fucking turkey steak, nigga, and won't hesitate to swallow a motherfucker whole. Bite a nigga's arm off if you have to. Let's see. Played well as part of the rotation on Virginia Tech's line. I oh, know, I'm sorry. Um, from, um, from, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Played well as part of the rotation on Georgia's line. You know, he's from the University of Georgia. Had 37 tackles, 5 for a loss. Had a sack, blocked a kick, you know. Mountain of a man, big, huge-ass nigga, just like I was saying, who is difficult to move at the line of scrimmage. You get that big motherfucker, big bastard. Next up, we should take a look at Poshit Graham, six-round pick out of, out of Illinois. Me, personally, it's time to scrap this Howard Mudd. Well, he, well, he retired, you know. It's time to scrap this, oh, this Howard Mudd motherfucking um, athletic type goddamn offensive line. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I like old school football. You need big, huge, big, giant motherfuckers on that offensive line, man. You feel me? So you take a look at him. 6'5", 305 pounds, motherfucker. Well, I'm sorry, 315. Yeah, three, even 315. Played well. Struggled versus Purdue. All offensive linemen struggle. You know, who the fuck don't? Um, but played well versus Ohio against Jonathan Hankins. You feel me? I don't know who the fuck that is, but and he also started the past two years. Let's see what he can do. Last two seven-round picks, just get some new, nigga, just get some scrub-ass motherfuckers. They ain't, nine times out of ten, they ain't gonna make the goddamn team anyway. Let's get a punter or... Fuck, let's hire a water boy. I don't fuck know. Um, but yeah, man, that's been part one of my mock draft. I'll make a part two, like maybe in February or beginning of March or some shit. You know, getting closer to the draft. You feel me? So until next time, y'all, man. This is your boy checking the fuck on out of here upon y'all niggas, man. Shout out to my man Two One Five Pretty Boy, the Zomster, Ripper Eagle, um, friend of mine, Fair Ladelia, man. You know, cool ass chick. Our uh, purple and yellow pride, even though we got a whole bunch of disagreements, man. Um, shout out to that bitch ass motherfucking babbit. Until next time, y'all, I'm checking the shit on out of here. Have a good one and holla.